good morning my dear friends in last uh, video we have seen the sequence of execution uh, in which we have gone through the all execution sequences now we are going to see the specification related to the specification what are the specification so look at this the specifications describes the nature and the class of the work materials to be used in the work workmanship etc and is very important for the execution of the work the cost of a work depends much on the specifications because the specification is mentioning all these categories it means what how quality of workmanship should be used how the quality of material is to be used what should be the proportions and depends on that we can judge the quality of work so generally the specification is divided into the two different categories one is general specification and one is detailed specification in general specification the we can say that these all things are being mentioned but in detailed specification all the details related to the quality of material proportions the preparation of the material and all these things is being mentioned while giving the detailed specification so specification does very plays very important role in your construction work so this will be useful while going for the each and every type of the work so after that we are going to see the dsr what is this dsr this is nothing but a district schedule rate we will see this the district schedule rates this this district schedule rates is nothing but the booklet that is being published by the public works department that is pwd now it is being published generally it was being published before one year uh, region wise but since last two years this from 1718 uh, the government of maharashtra is publishing this D edsr for complete state of maharashtra so in this you can say that these different kind of the works and their uh, specifications the quality of work whatever required their rates all these things is being mentioned so we are supposed to pay for these particular things if you can see this all the things being mentioned for whatever we are going to refer that is for which kind of things this is being there the reference number of the item number then specifications of that particular item then what unit of measurement for that item is there and the rates it means completed means the materials is being used by the contractor and labor if there is only labor the labor contract will be there so likewise we can refer the dsr for building if we are going to see we can see that all kind of materials are being there so if suppose we go over here this is related to the reinforced cement concrete look at this so these are the item numbers given 26.26 reference number that is bdf 13a and description of the item that is providing and casting this all the things are being there which kind of quality of material we are going to use and their unit of measurement and the rates these are nothing but the rates including the material and contract labor contracts and these are only for the labor contracts so this is nothing but dsr which is being used here after while going for the different kind of the estimates then there are these are the general formats which are being used for the calculations this is what we are having measurement sheet in which we are having this kind of things the serial number name of item of work description number length width height the quantity is nothing but calculated by multiplying these for the columns then total quantity if suppose if any item four items are there so we can add this all and make an total so this will be used for calculating the quantity of all materials then abstract sheet this abstract sheet is obviously nothing but the sheet which is used for calculating the cost from that measurement sheet we are going to get an particulars of the item unit in which it is being calculated the quantity is getting calculated or getting from the abstract sheet the rate from the dsr for this item and the amount is getting calculated by quantity multiplied by rate and the last one this is nothing but face sheet in which all the details we are going to put estimated cost of the abstract first ground floor first floor then total cost of these then we are going to add the 4 to 8 percent water supply and sanitary charges electrification 5 to 10 percent and other charges if any there for ac and lifts etc 